Hello everyone, it's Elder here. Today I want to give you a review on the Pure Sip uh, personal water filter. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have a few of them uh, sent to us for us to be able to uh, provide a review. So uh, myself and a few tribe members over the last month or so have been putting it through the paces uh, in New Jersey, upstate New York, uh, basically in our local uh, stomping area. So today I wanted to kind of share uh, the information or how we feel about it uh, with you. First of all, uh, definitely uh, good to go. It uh, kills 99% of uh, viruses and bacteria and all sorts of stuff that's happening out there. But look at the size of it, super convenient, all right? So it's basically like a little straw. You would take out the bottom part, little top pulls out, pop up the top, the top part, all right? You'll put it in your water, or put, uh, we'll show you in a second actually. Fill up some water, all right? Or you can actually just dip into the water yourself and use it just like a straw, sipping out of a stream, you know, anything, as long as it's not too, too much of uh, blackish water. Uh, but in a lot of uh, different areas, uh, it's been good to go. Uh, but here we have a nice lake, it's a reservoir, stuff isn't too bad, but at the same time you definitely want to filter your water or uh, it won't bode for a good uh, hike on the way back. Okay, so what uh, good points about this, alright, once again, size, easy to store, stores up for three years, it's a three year shelf life. Uh, it does up to about 50 gallons uh, worth of purification, alright, so, uh, but the cool thing about this one uh, compared to other um, personal water filters that we rated is that it actually will clog up before all the, uh, the stuff goes bad in here okay so what that means to you is before you get to the end of it and you have to wonder hey is this still gonna work am I still protected you know am I gonna catch these viruses or whatever it pretty much will clog up and not let you intake any more water uh, once it's done and those chemicals are still good to go they're still active so you know that you're okay when it stops working you'll pretty much uh, know which is a good thing rather than guessing all right and at the same time you're not throwing it away maybe before it was actually uh, time to do so all right so a uh, little uh, scenarios I might as well just put it in the test for you So once again, we've been using this left and right. What's the matter, Manchester? We've been using this uh, left and right. And uh, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that first sip that you end up taking with this, or the first couple sips, you're gonna want to disregard and spit them right back out. Uh, a bunch of black stuff, chemicals, and it even, even says it on the label and uh, the literature that, uh, with your personal water filter um, once you get it. So keep in mind, take off the bottom part, pull up the cap, put it in there. First couple sips, you're gonna want to spit out. From then on, you're pretty much good to go. You're using it like a straw. All right, taste is pretty good. You're not tasting a bunch of different chemicals like we have tasted in uh, other water purifiers that we've used in the past. Um, so as far as we're concerned with, you know, think about it, different scenarios. We're out on a hike. Uh, I have, uh, or we have three dogs, so they end up sopping up our water. Sometimes we can't get to our water supply or it's, you know, not, uh, not active for us to be able to utilize on these longer hikes. And we need something in a pinch. Something like this, super simple to keep in, in, uh, in your pack. Uh, very inexpensive. But other emergencies too. Uh, a lot of people are into preparedness, all right? Our tribe is into preparedness. A great little thing, inexpensive to keep in your pack, just in case. Uh, when you're traveling, all right? Certain countries, you know, I know even in certain restaurants that I'm at in these countries, there's always that iffy thing like, do I really even want to drink this water? Am I going to get sick? So on and so forth. You know, so you have something like this in a pinch. Not that big of a deal. Uh, might not look too cool at a restaurant, all right, but you don't have to do it at the restaurant. And, uh, you know, that way you're safe. You know what I mean? So these little little inexpensive things, things that we might not think about, will turn a great time uh, into, a, into a terrible time. So keep that in mind, all right? It's not just for preparedness. It's not just for hiking. Just a cool little gadget for you to be able to have uh, inside uh, with you, all right? So once again, good to go. Light, inexpensive. All right, we'll post a link where you'll be able to pick one up if you want to. Uh, and a very good selling point, they've sold over a million uh, to the U.S. military. All right, so that's pretty good. There's a lot of high standards there that they usually need to meet. So for the fact of them to be approved and accepted and purchased by the U.S. military, you know, that right there gives it a, a pretty good thumbs up to be right from the get-go before I was even, uh, before I even got to try it or even see what it looked like. Uh, so that definitely piqued my curiosity, and it's something that gives it great credibility. All right, so keep that in mind. This has been put through the test to a lot of people, uh, put through the test with myself and our NTC tribe, and we definitely give it a thumbs up. All right, so something you should add to your uh, to your pack, something you might want to add to your travel kit, and something you definitely want to have in your preparedness kit. All right, so once again, pick up the Pure Sip, something that uh, I don't think could go wrong, and then one day you might thank me <laughs> for actually uh, nudging you into purchasing this item. All right, once again, Helder Natural uh, Training Center, thank you for your time.